the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Croatia has released their songs for Eurovision 2021 and it is only right for me to react to it because this is my country and I want to see ahead of time what we're serving. Hopefully my favorites will do well. Filip Ruda, Nina Karadic and Albina are my favorites before listening to this recap. The recap is by the way by Duarte Sis, my friend who gave me permission to use this video uh, in my reaction and you can find uh, the link for his channel in the description box. Uh, let's just get into this. I hope it's good. People already started messaging me and I was like spoilers, stop, stop, disconnect everything and let's just react and then I will read what people think of it. Also in the comment section feel free to write what you think of them, who are your favorites and do you think we finally have a chance to qualify or do even better. Let's start with reaction 3, 2, 1. By the way, I will listen twice, just to get the impression first and then comment. Mm, okay, this is pleasant, but not for your vision. Oh. Okay, I guess, but no. Okay, this is this is a no, absolutely no. Sorry, Brigitta, but no. Not for me, and not for Eurovision. Mm. This could be epic. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Bojan has a perfect voice and always the song is... Uh, Okay, I expected something like this from Beta. Okay. Okay, Bernarda, give me something good. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Like it. I expected more from Mia. This sound is uh, generic. Okay, this is different. Okay, I don't know. Oh, can't be. Oh, music is nice. Oh, music is nice. Okay. Ella Kadeshkovic. All right. Come on now. Give me something good. Short. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I forgot about this guy. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Is that Edward? Or you have something more? No. First general impression is decent. It's going to be better than 2019, 2020 as well. I'm hopeful. 
I'm hopeful. Um, I have to go through the songs once more and maybe full version to get the idea of them. And then I will come back to you and I will say a few comments about each song. I'm back. I listened to all the songs and now I'm ready to give you my opinion on each song. So let's go. First we have Sandy Tsenov. This is a no. Simply because it is... Uh, it's really it's pleasant and it's nice but definitely not for Eurovision. It won't stand out. It's a ballad, it's a love song, but it has no impact at all. This one, I, I was afraid of it, to be honest, because it's Tony, and I like the vibe, but I don't like the topic. I believe this is COVID-related, so that's a complete no immediately. Brigitta, I'm sorry, but this is a huge no for me, because I don't like this type of music. It's very popular nowadays in Balkan countries, but... I can't find myself enjoying in this at all. Okay, I can see this going big on stage and I think many people will vote for it. This is one of the contenders in my opinion. I see the combination of modern and traditional, flawless vocals, this is going to be great. As I said first time, Boyan has amazing voice but he sometimes always ruins it with generic love song. Ashley is okay, but mm, no, it doesn't work. Beta. I don't know, it's it's okay, but not for Eurovision. It's, it's a good song. Ah, I don't know what to say about it, nothing special. Bernarda. Okay, this sounds very Swedish for me, or American, whatever. But... I like it, I prefer this over Mia or Ella, who have similar songs, so now Mia, I expected more from her, uh, this is quite generic and I find this high in the end, but I hope it doesn't win. Okay, this is very different and I, oh, I kind of like it, but I don't know what general public would think of it. Uh, I don't know how this will what, how this will do. Okay, I am surprised by Kambi the most. I thought this is going to be 2013 all over again, but this is more contemporary, more dramatic, much better, more more everything. I, I, I hope they will do well. I want them to do well. This is also not bad, but also sounds pop radio friendly and I don't know how they will make this stand out on stage. Uh, and now I'm kind of disappointed in Philip and I don't want this to come across as negative, but I expected a bit more from him. I'm sure he's going to deliver it live, but uh, I don't know. Albina? This sounds very interesting. This sounds very, very interesting. But she needs a good choreography for this. She needs a good performance and good staging. I hope she has a plan. If she does, this could go to Eurovision. Ocean of Love is also one of the songs that surprised me. I did not expect this. I did not expect liking this at all. Yes, this is good. This can also do well. Okay, that's that's all. Okay, to summarize it, uh, I'm happy with my, our national finals. Uh, my favorites are definitely Nina Karadic, Toma, I would say Albina, yes, and maybe Bernarda or Kambi. I'm keeping my reserves for Philip because I really want him to do well. And the others are just here. Uh, I'm slightly disappointed in Mia as well. I expected a better song for her, but we'll see. This is my opinion. Uh, write me in the comment section. I want to know your opinion of our national final. And well, let's see in one week time what will happen. Uh, February 13th. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.